Hi everyone, it's Laurie from Down Under and I thought the last journal that I put up on my channel would be the last one for this year but this is the last one so I managed to finish that in time. So this is from a series of my very vintage journals. I'll put the description down below where you can find that. And this one is, or well, first of all, before I start, I've had some carpal tunnel done on my right hand, so uh, I apologise for the for the bandaging, but um, the stitches and everything will come out next week, thank goodness, and I'll be able to do some more crafting, so I've been held up with that. But back to the journal, uh, this is a refurbished book cover, and there's a bit of glare there, so I'll hold that up that way for you. It's got some bronze metal corner pieces, uh, a Tim Holtz hitch post, and it's tied with a tea dyed ribbon. I've just untied that. Um, there's a, a part of a vintage doily there glued down to the front cover, a piece of mm, not so much lace, but edging that I've put on there. I'll come back to the other part. Um, to Signatures hand stitched into the spine. And the frame is a Tim Holtz frame. I've painted it and I've also in places put some gold leafing. And I think it turned out really, really well to keep in theme with the, uh, the rest of the journal. Tim Holtz paper doll there. You can put who it's to if it's for yourself. You can keep for yourself. And this is, as I say, very vintage. Tea dyed pages. There's tags that you can write on the back as well. These little tags are held with a ball and chain and a bit of fabric can write on the back of those as well and they sit in the glassine envelope there the edges have been torn and also inked to give it that vintage theme or tags I, I won't take them off because I'm sorry it, it really hurts my hand to do that uh, and this is a, a flip over tag these little girls are gorgeous and I have put that, um, it's, it's a flip over and that is some fabric that I've glued down there. And more writing. In here is a tag of a lady sewing. Oops. Feel all fingers and thumbs at the moment. Some part of a doily. And uh, this is the middle of the first signature and it's a vellum envelope that I have embossed as well with this tag. And that has a, a pull out as well. Some of them I can manage to pull off without too much trouble. The little tag there that comes out, and this one is it's a receipt for some water charges. And that's 1929, the date on that. And you can do some more writing on the back there. And 
and the beginning of the second signature. And this is an envelope that I made. It's um, it's a serviette or yeah, paper serviette that I have glued down onto the envelope with some stamping and some old lace. Put something special in there. It's an old envelope. I've put yet another old certificate in there. A bit of doily and a pin. All writing. tag and this opens out for more writing as well there's another envelope there And a teacher's report for parents with some old lace. Another envelope. Just waiting for you to put something special in there. A, a mining certificate. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? And there we have it. Thank you so much for watching and you can find those details down below. All the best for the new year. Bye for now.